What's up everybody? I am back with a new video. Finally, after months and months of being out of action here, I had some crazy work situations, a lot of work, and I also had some health issues involving uh, an overactive bladder, a prostate. You know, you can look up the term retrograde ejaculation after the kids go to sleep, but I want to talk today about the 2023 best avid keyboard shortcuts. So anybody that has taken the course knows I am a huge fan of keeping all of my my keyboard shortcuts using my left hand or keeping my right hand on the mouse that is the quickest way to edit so with that said uh here we go most of these keys i will keep as avid has them laid out t to mark an in and out right e to mark an in r to mark an out q to go to the in w to go to the out a i don't really need go to edit so i use match frame for a so anytime i want to match frame into something it's go a a now it's in my source monitor um i have a little video on this too i actually use shift a for freeze frame so i can hit a shift a make a freeze frame really fast so the other ones here I, s i used to make that just render a position but realized finally i don't really use that too much so actually now i'm using load filler and if so if i mark it in and out here or if i control a and i hit s it's now loading filler right making space Control Z all that before I ruin this video and the way to do that is you have to have control three You have to have a menu to button reassignment hit the button first and then up here It is in I forget where it is in timeline add filler at position So now we're running marking in instead of of coming up here right-clicking and hitting load filler marking it in and out and then cutting it in down here. Now, this is a much faster way for me to mark it in and then just hit S and that loads in five seconds of filler. So that is a big new change for me since uh, prior versions I've had. D, F, and G, I keep the same. Just delete your mark ins and outs. C, I make add edit. That's a big one for me. I used to have that as a button over here, but I wound up using it. I use Ed Edit enough that I need it to be a keyboard. Again, around my left hand. Just you want all your greatest keyboard shortcuts in this area over here, including using Shift. So that's something I'm thinking about with other keyboard shortcuts I have. If I could do Shift S or Shift D, that's going to make things a lot quicker for me. Obviously, the biggest one, and I have a huge video about this, is to extend by marking an end, hitting extend with the tab key. I do not use trim mode i think it is slow and i have videos on that but obviously this is my favorite favorite keyboard shortcut of all editing software all time is the extend key at the tab button the other only other keyboard i really use over here is obviously five i used to play so the other big keyboard I, i've shifted here is seven i hit seven and that is my source browser to import footage um, I probably should move that over a little to the left, but it doesn't bother me. I'm moving it over to, to seven. It's like something you got to start thinking about. You're going into a different mode here. You're not in like super fast, just edit typing type mode there. The other things to think about with the F2s, F3s, F4s, the way I do it is F2 is render into out. So if I mark it in and I mark it out, I hit F2, I am now ready to render in theory the whole piece most of the time right um so f2 is render into out the same thing to get that you have to mark f2 render timeline render render into out it's there okay f3 is my export f3 brings up the export dialog box i can export jpegs audio files waves movies mp4s everything right f3 is one of my go-to keys to export anything i use f5 and f6 for video and audio mix downs now, some people get confused about why you use that i made a whole separate video about video and audio mix downs so check that out seven f7 and f8 is my workspaces f7 to go into color correction mode and workspace in there and f8 to source and record mode back to edit mode one of my biggest keyboard shortcuts i know it's moving my left hand all the way over to the right over here but uh zoom in and zoom out same thing i use that as a menu to button reassignment and the top one is zoom in and i use this timeline hamburger zoom in and zoom out these are keys that you can't really find anywhere else it's very very helpful to be able to zoom in to something or zoom out. Just hold those keys down, up, down, zoom out, and zoom in key. So the only other thing I'll mention before uh, I ask for your help is this dissolve key. I Believe me, I tried to move this in different places, but muscle memory is a factor, and I couldn't get around the sense of moving to a separate key, this dissolve. And one thing that thinks about my left hand is moving all the way to the right, but 
when I'm thinking about a dissolve, I also have to think about uh, how long is it going to be, starting point, end point. So it works for my brain. It doesn't bother me that the dissolve keyboard shortcut is all the way over here on the right. I did try to move it over here and I couldn't get my head around it. I would always sort of by instinct go to this key over here and finally I said forget it. I'm not moving after all this time, all this muscle memory. So my favorite other key is the tilde key. And what happened was I was using the tilde key for batch import. With a lot of files, a lot of patch importing I did at work. And of course, that's kind of gone by the wayside now. You're linking, you're transcoding, you're not really batch importing files as much as I used to. So I'm getting rid of that. And right now I have it a blank and it's just a tilde key. And I wanted people to comment, to chime in and let me know what do you think? What keyboard shortcut should I put there? What shortcut am I not using enough? And if you can't, tell me what to do there. You have no ideas for me. Just let me know what kind of beer to drink. I actually found a new session. I didn't even know they made it actually. Uh, it was the first time I ever saw it recently. It's called Founders All Day Haze, Hazy IPA. I actually, I'll admit this. I don't like Founders All Day IPA. I really love IPAs, but if I'm in a bar and this is the only IPA they have, I won't drink it. I probably will drink Miller Lite or something, maybe even a Heineken. But the Session Hazy IPA, this is good. I love any of the beers that say Hazy. I usually like them, and I'm very happy to find this Founders All Day Hazy IPA, and I hope I see it in more stores and out, out and about in 2023. So something else to think about in 2023 is that I am working on the new course, the new 2023 course, all new videos. So I hope everything is well with everyone as I come back into YouTube and start posting more videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.